All right. Hello. Welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, I am back again for part three in um, Girls with Poem by Momo Girl. Um, gorgeous book. I don't get. I don't color in it um, nearly as much because I'm not necessarily awesome with faces yet. I mean, I try. Don't get me wrong. I try, and I love trying. Um, but sometimes, you know, I just don't want to. Um, last time, oh, I got the flaggy there. Last time, I had gone bold with some red poppies, some hyper red poppies, and did a nice lavender shirt. Um, so, I was going to go in and do the shirt, and then um, see where we go from there. And you're going to join me on picking stuff out, colors out, because I did not do that beforehand. Shh. I was lazy. Lilac. Absolutely 110% lilac. That is not focused very well. Sorry. There we go. No, that still looks wrong. Err. There we go. So, definitely, definitely lilac. Um, and probably Dahlia purple. Um, and then maybe into the black cherry. Or the dark purple. I like, I like lilac and dark purple. I may just go those two colors. Let's see what those look like. So there's lilac. There's my dark purple. I am not a purple user, um, but I love the color. And then I, I was thinking yellow flowers and green leaves and stuff. So let's go sharpen using my M&R. There is a link to this down below um, to every sharpener I use. So I use the M&R for my softer pencils, and then I use a Helix A5 hand crank for my... Um, uh, harder pencils so most people are like well you, you know you turn this no I turn I turn the pencil I, I know it's not the proper way but it's what feels most comfortable to me and I am willing to then deal with the breakages that may or may not happen um, as long as you're not like jiggling the pencil all around you're you're pretty okay um, I have had breakages, but, you know, like I said, I will deal with the consequences of my actions. Um, so, let's see here. I want to, I just want to put this lilac on here just to see how close we are in color. Oh, that's super close. I really only need to use the lilac then to, to fix some of the, um, the issues like where I've I didn't get any cool okay cool beans so the dark purple then which is PC 931 and lilac PC 956 I'm sorry it's really 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 dark outside and so I've got my lamps on and so it's kind of being funky with the the colors here let me let me zoom in so I'm going to start under here. I'm not going to go too crazy with shading and stuff. Um, mostly because I just don't have the patience for it right now. This is currently not my favorite uh, picture I'm coloring at the moment. And when that happens, I tend to just, like, blah. And go blah, I don't want to do it. I'm also going to pull in the white, the PC938. Um, but it's just going to sit right there for now. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this. But I do want to finish it. I did, I did start it with you guys, and I do want to finish it. And I like it. It's just a little more, a little more than I want right now. But whatevs, I'll deal. It'd be all right. It'd be okay. I could bring in some black. 
um, just just for those really really dark areas let's bring in black which is PC935 I do want to say thank you to everybody I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately and that is awesome sauce I'm in the home stretch to 2000 which is more than I ever thought I would have ever 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 um, so that's super cool I'm gonna have to think of something for 2000 giveaway I don't know I just don't know I'm gonna do like I did with the face um, I don't know if you can tell but there's I did not burnish so there are white spaces and I'm just gonna kind of leave that look throughout this uh, paint painting picture whatever it is I'm gonna leave that this did not like I put on a lot of water in some spots this didn't buckle at all um, so that's amazing I was looking at that when I was pulling it out I was like there's no buckling I've also had it sitting excuse me I've had it sitting under a few books um, so maybe that helped I've been cleaning my kitchen this morning the last I don't know, hour and a half and I stopped because I'm cleaning my oven and the oven cleaner says to leave it for two hours and granted like there's other stuff I could be doing I could be like waxing the the cabinets or, or whatever I could be doing I could clean out the cabinets or something or clean out my fridge but no nope. I'm going to use this as an opportunity. <laughs> so, this video is brought to you by Easy Off. The oven cleaner. I've got the door shut so the kitty cats don't mess with it and breathe in all those chemicals. I tried just using Spick and Span. Let me tell you, Spick and Span, antibacterial, the green liquid is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I get so much stuff off with that. Like I get soap scum off of my glass in my bathroom. And I can't, like I can't do that with like the bleach bathroom cleaners and any of that stuff. Like it just, I'm sitting there scrubbing for like hours with a scrubber, with like an actual scrubber this spick and span stuff I kid you not I take a cloth just a regular terry cloth um, and I spray it let it sit for two seconds long enough that I start at the top and you know at the bottom it's usually scummier so I start at the top and I go all the way down and I've got to put a little elbow grease in it but not much and it's just gone so I do that once a week because I love my husband, but he doesn't always like squeegee everything. And squeegeeing is life. I'm just saying. It helps. Squeegeeing helps. But no, this stuff's amazing. It's amaze balls. I use it everywhere. <laughs> I haven't decided what her hair color is going to be yet. I don't want anything too crazy. I don't want it to be like... I want her to be a redhead because the redhead it tends to lean into orange when I do it. I don't know why it just does. And I, I think the orange and the red would really, um, kind of, because the redheads are more auburn than like true red. They always have an orangey uh, tone to them instead of these true reds. So I'm not going to go redhead. I was thinking maybe black, maybe just do black hair. But she doesn't look like she has black hair. She looks like she has dark brown hair. So maybe we'll just do dark brown. That's somebody with dark brown hair. And then I'm just going to pull this out. Not being too nitpicky with it. Just 
on it. Just enough, I just want to get those little spots that maybe I missed and even out the color just a little bit. That's all. I'm not going crazy. I'm not going to burnish it. I'm not going to... I just want to ease that transition. And fix some of the issues that I had doing the watercoloring. Which are few and far between and not really that important. So if I miss one or two, it's not the end of the world. And if you start singing REM, good on you. Yesterday we went on a heart walk, which was fun. My husband's uh, work was, there's a little line here, so I'm going to do a little shadowing. My husband's work was the sponsor, so he's like, you know, it'd be really good if we, we went. So we went. Never mind, we had been up till about midnight the night before, hanging out with the neighbors, um, drinking and all that, having fun, had a cookout. Played some card games and just had a good old time. The kids had fun. The grown-ups had fun. It was a good all-around. So, you know, the next day we had to go on a heart walk. That was fun. I'm going to pause while I blow my nose. That's another tissue box down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to pump up the shadows here just a little bit. But it was it was good. We only did the mile because poor little Zoe, she was just so dang tired. Because, you know, we had been over at their house until, I think we got home at like 11.15. Then the girls... <clears throat> They wanted to stay up, but they weren't tired. They weren't tired, so we let them stay up just a little bit. And by the time we got them all settled in bed, it was like 11.30, you know, and then it's the weekend, so we let them watch their, or play on their tablets um, in bed. And then, you know, one of us, when we go to bed, we collect them. By the time I went to bed and 15 minutes later, Zoe was out. <coughs> So, yeah, you know, she, about 11.45, midnight. She was up at 6 a.m. I was like, no, 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 none of that. So, yeah, it was a rough day. She was super tired. So, you know, kids, what are you going to do? We did, we did the heart walk for just a little bit and then came home and rested and relaxed. I think in here it's going to be quite shadowy. I saw some workers come by and put up a men working ahead sign. So I wonder what's going on. <clears throat> I need to sharpen this black. And apparently I have just got, <coughs> got stuff stuck in my throat today. Not having a good day with it. Here we go. So I know I sound a little froggy. I'm. I feel like, like I don't feel bad at all. Like I still got the frog in my throat. I still got a little bit of coughs. I still got a little bit of sniffles. Every now and then I have to blow my nose. 
It lingers, like colds linger with me. It's terrible. And then if I have really bad luck, it'll linger so bad it'll come back around. Which is like, this is the worst. It is the worst. Because then your kids, that means your kids brought home another, another virus. It's just like, ugh. Because Zoe's getting sick again. She was the first one sick last time. I'm going to give her cough medicine. She was up coughing. I feel so bad. You know, you hear him cough and you're like, oh, is it going to wake him up or is it going to be okay? Do I go wake him up and give him medicine or are they going to be okay? I may drink a little bit more uh, than normal today, guys, so bear with me. Yeah, so I hope she's not getting sick. I hope it's just allergies or something. I was looking on the weather, the Weather Channel app. They, they've redone it now to where you can, like, see the pollen. I mean, it was always like that, but you had to, like, find it. And now it's just, like, right there as you swipe, which is very convenient for those of us with allergies. I might have to start sticking her on a everyday allergy medicine. That's an idea. I'll have to talk to Dave about that and see what he thinks. Maybe she just has, you know, maybe she just has allergies and it just keeps kicking up on her and she just can't. It wouldn't be surprising. I mean, you know, my whole family were terrible with allergies. I get just a little extra black right there. Oh. I was almost at the end of your vision. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to go under here. It's going to be like straight black. Well, I'll come in with like the purple too, but. Normally I do purple first and then black on top. This is going to go black first to give that extra darkness. decided today after a couple of really bad threads on Facebook over a couple different topics um, I'm just gonna take a mental health week that may go longer may not I'm gonna take a mental health week off of social media um, so no Twitter no Facebook no reddit um, my Instagram is flat out coloring, so I don't have an issue with that. Um, but like my Twitter is mostly politics and then my Facebook is everything, um, including some local stuff that's happening that has really got my, like, it's got my anxiety kick in, it's got my blood pressure up in I can't sleep at night and then what I just read today I'm just like I'm never gonna sleep again like I, I mean I know I'm like writing this book and it's a it's a murder mystery book and you know it gave me a nightmare and I woke up and I was super creeped cool but when you're laying there and you can't sleep because all you can think about is how to prepare your child for just for stuff they shouldn't be prepared for that you shouldn't be preparing them for they had a lockdown drill um, 
which is, I understand the need for it, and I'm, I'm happy it happens. Because to not do it would leave the children very exposed. I hate that it's a thing that needs to be done. Um, and in the area where my daughters go to school, there's another school nearby, and there's a man that lives in the neighborhood behind it who has made credible threats, pipe bombs, shooting, you know, the whole nine. And he got arrested. And he has PTSD and, you know, some other mental issues. And his parents are like, well, you know, we don't ever get the help we need with him. And But he's never been violent, so we posted bail and he's out. He hasn't, and, and the reason the cops won't lock him up or keep him or, you know, set bail to some astronomical numbers, he hasn't hurt anybody yet. That's a key word. He hasn't hurt anybody yet. And so... That keeps you up at night. I'm going to start crying. i gotta, I got to move on to a different subject. I'm sorry. So I'm taking a, a, mental, um, a mental health break from Facebook. It's not only that, but then like some drunk driver killed an entire family in a car. Mom, dad, brother, sister. Entire family. Just you know, wiped out. Done. And it's very disconcerting to read these things. Because there's some stuff that is beyond your control. And to feel that powerless is... It hurts. Like, it really hurts. Like, sending my kids on the bus today was really difficult. Not because their school has had a threat, but because I know it can happen. And it can happen in a flash of an eye blink of an eye their old school or, yeah I guess it was my oldest my youngest wasn't in school yet uh, my oldest old school um, so the campus was set up where it was elementary middle and high school all on the same road right boom 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 next to each other the high school got a threat a bomb threat and I did not get notified until two hours after the incident that there was even an incident that my child was locked in a room with their head down behind some desks. And I understand they don't want parents rushing. But I saw it in the news before I got an email or a voicemail or a text or anything from the school. And I don't think that's right either. I'm smart enough I would have stayed away. Oh, see, like, I'm tearing up. I'm smart enough I would have stayed away because that's what you do. You let the police handle it and you don't get in their way. You just let them do their job. And you just stay out of the way. Same with paramedics and EMTs and anybody who's trained in that. You don't get in the face so you can take a video of it with your phone. You stay out of the way and you let the people who know what they're doing do their job. I just think, I just, I can't, I can't just keep reading these things and sleep. So I'm taking a little break. I'll get my daily briefing from Alexa. And I'll get like a generalized and not get bombarded with the news so much. Because I just can't.
I just can't. It hurts my heart too much. And then all the crap with Brett Kavanaugh going on. Oh, and if you don't know, I don't know why you don't know. Um, it's bringing up a lot of stuff that um, I'm not necessarily ready to deal with. And can't, can't, can't deal with. Um, I mean, I get, I understand the Me Too movement, and I'm like 110% behind anybody who comes forward. Um, but I also understand people who can't. And I can't. Not yet. Maybe not ever, I don't know. So... I'm just gonna, oh, I need to go down, not up. I'm just gonna, I'm out of frame. Dang it, Melissa. I just can't right now. So anyway, on to some lighter stuff. I'm cleaning my oven. <laughs> I'm cleaning my oven. I have to blow my nose. I was actually out of tissues. I had to go get more tissues. Thank goodness I bought a lot. I buy a lot in the, um, well, I buy a lot all the time. I buy those big, like, six or eight packs. I'm particular about my toilet paper. Well, my husband's particular about toilet paper. And I am particular about my Kleenex. Because I get, like, you know when you blow your nose too much and you get, like, the raw nose? I get that every single flipping time. No matter what, even with the good, like, I don't like the lotion stuff, but, like, I like the aloe. And I like the, uh, the stuff with the Vicks in it. That's really good, too. But I end up usually having to put, um, Carmex. I put Carmex on my nose. <laughs> because I tell you what, that will fix it overnight. Unless, you know, you're just really sick and blowing your nose all the time. See how this is fixing a lot of those imperfections there? Come on. There we go. Need this section is what I'm working on. I love Carmex. I don't like, like I like Vicks in the tissues, but I don't necessarily like it in the vapor rub. Like I don't like that. <laughs> I think it's too much. But I like Carmex. It's usually the only thing I can smell while I'm sick. Oh, is that a little crease? That's a baby crease. There's a baby crease in there. There we go. I have to find the baby crease. My oldest is doing the uh, fall product sales for Girl Scouts. Uh, my youngest, it's their first year, so they're not doing it. Because um, it, it can be a bit much. And then if I have two kids, I'm just like, which one, you know, which one gets the email sent out and which one gets the credit. And so I'm kind of glad she's not doing it this year. Um. But she's doing the cook or nuts and magazines right now. It's a fall product. Um, and my cousin, he was like, "Oh, you can be down for Thanksgiving. Um, I want to buy some some nuts and and stuff off of Kaylee, and you can just bring it down when, and I'll you know I'll get it for my mom or I'll get it from you when you come to Thanksgiving." And I'm like not coming to Thanksgiving we, because if we go Thanksgiving and then we go like three weeks later for Christmas this is stupid um it's too much driving it's not stupid it's just too much driving 
so we don't we don't go for Christmas or we don't go for Thanksgiving. He was like, well, you'll be down for Christmas, right? I said, yeah. He goes, well, I'm going to be in Columbus with his girlfriend. He's like, can you just leave it with my mom? I was like, yeah, that's cool. No problem. I was like, and thank you so much for, for buying from Kaylee. And he's just like, well, yeah. Why wouldn't I buy from her? <laughs> I'm like, you're the sweetest cousin. He's my birthday buddy. He was born on my birthday. 12 years. I was born at 7.51 p.m. And he was born at 7.51 a.m. On the same day. Amazing. It was amazing. I got a call on my birthday that I had a cousin. I think I even have a photo of me on the phone. Because I even remember what I got for my birthday. So my 12th birthday. I was really into baseball cards. I loved baseball. I loved baseball cards. Um, and so I got a card holder, the, this big, um, baseball shaped card holder. It was huge. And so I got that and I was, I was putting the, uh, MLB and the, uh, there's the major league and the American league. I was putting all the, uh, stickers on for that. So I knew which, um, which group went to which slot. And I got the call from Aunt Debbie. Or probably Uncle Doug. Maybe Aunt Debbie. That PJ was here. And he's been my buddy ever since. He's such a sweet guy. And I was so touched. He's just like, well, yeah, I'm going to buy from her. She's like, yeah, but there's other, like, Girl Scouts. I mean, you know, I'm sure his his girlfriend is a teacher, so I'm sure she's got Girl Scouts, like, in her class or something. The really Girl Scouts are not as big up in Ohio as they are down here. Because I remember when I moved from North Carolina, I wanted to continue Girl Scouts, and we couldn't find a troop for me. And so I quit while I was a junior. Because my mom didn't, she was going to have to go back to work, so she didn't want to be a leader. Which is fine. As someone who has started doing leader stuff, it is... Slightly time-consuming frick. Speaking of which, I have to do... <sighs> I have to plan a journey. Okay. Oh, man! Hold on. Alright. <sighs> I was supposed to meet her for lunch today. I just texted her and like, uh, I was not even planning on that. I'm not, you know, dressed for such a thing. I was supposed to meet her in a half hour, and it'd take me a half hour to drive there, and, you know, another 15, 20 minutes to get ready, so. That's all right. I've got it on my Google Calendar. I should have it where it reminds me thing in the morning at like 9 a.m. Hey stupid you got stuff to do today oh my goodness see and that's the other thing like I lose track of stuff and especially with all the little stuff on Facebook and I just I need a break. I need a mental health break <clears throat> before I mentally healthily break. So it's either me or it. I'm choosing it. My kids need me. My husband needs me. I need me. So I think I'm going to take this time that I am mentally focusing myself 
Um, you know, do a nice deep clean on the house. Record some coloring videos. Get some coloring done. Because that also eats up a lot of my time, believe it or not. I can't keep my face out of my computer. But I'll need, you know, I'll still like look up stuff for my book that I'm writing, I'm going to write, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's not going to be like all cut off the internet, but it'd be dang close too. So, let's see. A little crease here. A little crease here. A little bigger crease actually. And a little crease here. And a little crease here. over there. Let's see. There we go. Going with the black right here, just in these bigger ones. my reminder for lunch. Uh. try to keep these videos to about an hour. I'm hoping I'm doing good on this one. I can't tell. I should really have a timer on my phone that says, hey, you're hitting an hour. No, nope. I think about it after I've started, not, you know, before. When it would matter most. That's all right. working on? What are you coloring? What do you, I don't know, what are you drawing? What are you coloring? What are you doing? How are you doing? Are you okay? Do you need somebody to talk to? I really don't want to mess too much with that. I really, I, mean, I really like the texture that the watercolor did. So let's go down, down into here. Those cats are into. 
<sighs> I need to get Miss Marvel into a bath or something. Because she is stanky. Like, so bad that I, like, check her to make sure she doesn't have poop stuck on her fur. She's just that stinky. Like, I checked her paws last night. I wiped her paws down with the washcloth. Because I don't want to, I don't have any, like, cat-friendly soap. And I worry about putting, you know, just dish soap or something. Because you, they're going to lick. They're going to lick, Right? I don't want to make them sick, but they do need some hygiene help. They need help. I think that's all I'm going to do on that. So I'm going to put that back. Put that back. Put that back. So if I don't, I'll forget and I won't know where it's at. Let's see, let's pick out, I want to do yellow, but I really like sunburst yellow, but I don't want to do orange. Let's see, canary, tweet, tweet, and I'm going to just do it flat, um, because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Apple green and grass green. I am going to get two for the green, though. So I need these sharpened. These are not sharpened enough. Canary could probably do it, but yeah. I'm going to do it to it. yellow. I'm going to do these yellow. I'm being kind of loose with it. Figure if the print looks watercolored anyway it'll be a nice loose print I don't know what color I'm gonna do that probably just leave it white I mean I'll get gray and shade it but I'll probably just leave it white Are you seeing everything? No. There we go. I'm going to be very loose with this. Loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. I think that's good. Well, no, these things. Yes? Yes. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the apple green first. I've noticed the darker color is, the less loosey-goosey you can go with it. You have to get a little more intentional. I'm actually going to pull in this white, too, just to blend it. 
So I think that's what I'm going to do. That way I can keep my loosey goosey and blend it in. Still have it look good. Right? It's alright, it's alright, it's all good, it's all good. We were at the, uh, we had just arrived at the Heart Walk. You know, there was a whole bunch of, like, sponsorships there, and so there was a whole bunch of, really, Miss Marvel? Oh, you were Sunny. You weren't Miss Marvel. Usually Miss Marvel. Oh, no, you're Miss Marvel. Shame on me. Uh, so anyway, there was, like, a lot of, places to go and things to see and you know special things to get you know to help promote and whatever um well we were getting this stuff from my husband's work and um one of my husband's co-workers shows up and he goes Zoe Zoe look it's James Forgetting completely that our next door neighbor, the little boy she plays with, his name is James. She was looking around for him like, oh, James, James, my James is here, James. And Dave goes, no, 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 it's it's my friend from work. It's my, my friend James, not James next door. And like she just, her whole face fell. And she just started like these big crocodile tears, silent crying. And my husband's like, oh my God, what have I done? I was like, look at what you did. Oh, he was like, I wasn't even thinking. And poor like big James was just standing here like, why is she crying over me? I don't understand. So yeah, that was fun. I did have a little bit of an interesting moment um, on Instagram the other, well, it wasn't the other day. I mean, the, the comment was six days old and I had only like just seen it. So I don't, I don't know what's up with social media lately and like not notifying you, but I did not get a notification that this person had commented like at all. So it was six days later by the time I saw her comment. And it was on, it was on my picture that I had done out of daydreams. Uh, the, the double page spread with the really nice watercolor background. And, you know, I'd spent days on that. I'd spent time during the hurricane on it. And, you know, I'm super proud of that picture. Like, I'm really, really super proud of that picture. And she goes, nice picture, but maybe you should credit so-and-so. And this is a person I don't follow. Um, and it may have been 10 o'clock at night. And I may have been going to bed when I finally saw it. And I was just like, who and why? Now, I've never gotten an answer. But I went and looked. Um, so there are some similarities between uh, the two pictures. And I'm pretty sure she was implying that I had used that picture as inspiration to do mine. Uh, I'm pretty self-conscious about that stuff. I really, 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 if I find something inspirational and then I go and create something using that thing as inspiration, I will give credit. Absolutely, 110%, even if I am not copying and I'm making it my own and the only thing I took was like a pink flower somewhere, um, I will still give credit. So like that kind of 
kind of bugged me a little bit. Um, because I had never seen this person's photo. Like, I'd never seen, I've never followed. Um, our two pictures are not exact. Um, maybe we used the same design seeds photo as reference. Because that's what I used. I used the design seeds photo um, as inspiration to for a color palette. And that's as far as I went on that. And go looking at anybody else's pieces. I purposefully did not go looking for this picture because I didn't want to inadvertently take um, take inspiration without realizing it, or you know, maybe I saw it and then I didn't write down who it was, and then I can't give credit, etc. Um, I go to the extreme. I don't feel it needs to go that far, but I do. Um, so, yeah. I just, it kind of bugs me that this is now a thing that's going on. And it has been going on for a while. I forgot purple. This has been going on for a while. Like, this is nothing new. No, not that one. Lilac. There we go. Yeah, this is nothing new. Like, it's it's been going on for a while in the community. And, well, sometimes I absolutely 100% agree that um, credit where credit is due. Like, if... You go and color this page, and the dress is purple, the flowers are yellow, the stuff is green, the these are red, and you have done everything in the same way that I have done. Well, I don't necessarily ask for credit for that. I mean, I would love it because, you know, then it could point people to my face or my YouTube channel, and then, then, then I could get more subscribers, and yada, yada, yada. Um, I will not chase you down and go, yo, where's my credit? Because, um, ain't nobody got time for that. So, I, I just, and to, to not, to automatically assume a, that I copied or used them as inspiration and didn't give credit or, or whatever. To, to automatically assume that and not give the benefit of the doubt that maybe, A, I don't know this person. I'm not following them. I mean, you could ask, you could have asked them who their followers are and searched for my name and you wouldn't have seen it. And you still won't. I haven't followed them. And the, they do beautiful work. I just, I'm not going to do it now because now they've got like, they've got people that are hardcore, whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's just that person. Maybe, maybe it's just that person that, that artist or whatever doesn't care. Um. But anyway, like, I mean, there's ways you, she could have found out instead of automatically assuming. I'm, that bugs me. Because what do you do when you assume? So I had that happen. That was fun. And this is why once I get close to, I'm going to read a murder mystery um, for October. Oh, shoot. I mean, I probably shouldn't do that. My problem is, is I inadvertently, I just pick things up like accents and because I was drinking my neighbor's like, you're really getting thick with that southern draw there. And I'm like, I know. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm not making fun of you. <laughs> She's like, no, it's funny. It's like, worked very hard to have a Midwestern accent. Now I'm going all Southern. I don't know what to do. So anyway, I, I have that. Ha I'm aware of my habits anyway. So I am extremely conscious of them. So I may not read a murder mystery for October, so I don't pick it up for my book in November. Hmm. Anyway, if you do like reading, I have a reading club. Read all the things. It's linked down in the description below. And um, currently voting on October's book, which is a murder mystery or mystery thriller. Oh, I would like to read that James Patterson juror number three. That's on that list. That might be my vote, but I try to wait to vote. Sometimes I throw my vote away. Sometimes I break a tie. But anyway, so if you like to read, this October's is all... Um, mystery thriller books join vote there are some things I will still do on Facebook like I still have to take care of my my Facebook groups but beyond that I don't really want to touch anything else my tummy's growling hmm. I ate breakfast Anybody out there ever forced themselves to start drinking coffee when they didn't like it before? Just out of curiosity. Because I'm slowly going in that direction. Because I really dang it, I really want a pumpkin latte. Pumpkin spice latte. Like, I really want one, man. But I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. You know, I feel left out. What one? Let's see. Oh, I think we're hitting we're hitting an hour here. So I'm gonna zoom me out. Zoom zoom. So we finished her shirt. I think that looks cute and soft. A very contrast, very highly contrast the uh, the dark red poppies which we'll we'll work on in the next video which we'll see when that is um put my stuff away gotta put it away if you don't put it away you don't know where it's at so there's that uh, hopefully i'll have another video on this one on wednesday um so this is part three the poppies will be part four the hair and stems part five and then like a we'll see we'll see we're gonna we're looking like we're gonna head into about six parts on this so just fyi on you so there's that and you all have a wonderful day and i will see you um next time bye bye